Today on Rappler. The U.S. government unseals warrants against Apollo Kibuloy. Former President Duterte is the new administrator of properties owned by Kibuloy's Kingdom of Jesus Christ. The Philippine National Railways is stopping operations for the next five years starting March 28, 2024. A major coral bleaching event hits Australia's Great Barrier Reef. And P-pop girl group Beanie releases its first EP titled Tala Arawan on International Women's Day. After wanted preacher Apollo Kibaloy announced he has gone into hiding, the U.S. government unseals warrants against him. In November 2021, the Federal Bureau of Investigation issued warrants against Kibaloy after being indicted for several sex trafficking, cash smuggling, fraud, and money laundering charges. California Judge Terry Hatter Jr. unseals the warrants and returns against Kibaloy and other defendants on March 1. The U.S. Attorney's Office says it moved to unseal the warrants because some of the defendants are already in custody. Unsealing of the warrants enables public access to the documents by other law enforcement agencies such as the International Criminal Police Organization or Interpol. The U.S. may also file for a formal request for extradition. If the U.S. files an extradition request, it will be assessed by the Department of Foreign Affairs first. DOJ spokesperson Nico Clavano says they have yet to receive an extradition request related to Kibuloy's case. Former President Rodrigo Duterte was named the administrator of properties belonging to the religious group Kingdom of Jesus Christ or KOJC, the church led by wanted doomsday preacher Apollo Kibuloy. KOJC's media arm Sunshine Media Network International or SMNI announces on social media, former President Rodrigo Duterte is appointed as new administrator for KOJC properties. Duterte and Kibuloy are longtime close friends. The announcement follows a court ruling in the United States that ordered the unsealing of warrants and returns against Kibuloy and his associates. The charges range from sex trafficking, marriage fraud, visa fraud, bulk cash smuggling, and money laundering. Kibuloy had earlier said he had gone into hiding due to alleged threats to his life. In the Philippines, Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia has directed prosecutors to file cases of sexual abuse of a minor and qualified trafficking against the preacher. The Philippine National Railways, or PNR, is stopping operations for the next five years starting Monday, Thursday, March 28, 2024. This is to give way to the construction of the North-South Commuter Railway, or NSCR. The last trips from Governor Pascual to Tutuban and Tutuban to Alabang will be on March 27. While the PNR is closed, buses on the Tutuban-Alabang route and vice versa are expected to drop off and pick up passengers along the current PNR route. The closure is expected to affect around 30,000 commuters in Metro Manila who ride the trains every day. The Transportation Department says halting the PNR will speed up the construction of the project by eight months, saving 15.18 billion pesos in costs. The NSCR will run from Clark, Pampanga to Calambalaguna and is expected to accommodate up to 800,000 passengers per day. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is hit by a major coral bleaching event with results consistent with patterns of heat stress. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority says Friday, March 8, the bleaching follows similar reports on reefs around the world brought on by elevated sea surface temperatures. These conditions are primarily driven by climate change but amplified by the El Niño phenomenon. The news comes after the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said earlier this week the world was on the verge of a fourth mass coral bleaching event. This could cause wide areas of tropical reefs to die, including parts of the Great Barrier Reef. Bleaching causes corals to expel the colorful algae living in their tissues and turn white. P-pop girl group Beanie releases its first EP titled Tala Arawan on International Women's Day, Friday, March 8. Tala Arawan means diary or journal and the members say they want their new and old fans to connect and confide in them as if the girls are diaries. The eight-member group also posts the music video for Salamin Salamin, the EP's lead track. Salamin, Salamin, Beanie members Mika and Joanna earlier said they chose Women's Day in line with the group's advocacy. The members also share their favorite songs from the EP. Ang huling chacha, pantropiko. Huling chacha, jan kala. Jan kala. Gulat ko kayo. Pantropiko. Pantropiko. Ang huling chacha, pantropiko. Ahead of the EP's release, Aya, Colette, Maloy, Mika, Gwen, Stacy, Sheena, and Joanna also announced they will hold their first solo concert on June 28th at the New Frontier Theater. Beanie debuted in June 2021 after training since 2019 under ABS-CBN. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. 
Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, X, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you.